Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all celebrating a nice 4th of July if you're in the U.S. And uh, I hope you just remember, um, you know, what this day is all about. Uh, that's very important. Uh, but that's not really the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you guys all the cool stuff I got at the coffee mugs uh, at the Goodwill. So I just wanted to show you guys some of this cool stuff I got and, uh, you know, show you the kind of profits that I expect out of them. And uh, I'm, I got some other ones, but I just wanted to feature some of the better ones that I got because these are probably the ones that I'm going to make the most profit on. So I, uh, I did rummage through a little bit more, and I found some other stuff that I, I picked up, but I didn't feature in yesterday's video that I made. So I just wanted to show those to you real quick. Uh, there's this one here. Just a really cool, um, I guess, tankard or stein, but this one has the lid on it, and it opens up, so that's pretty cool. And it's got a nice thick glass bottom to it, and this one's actually... Like the thickest glass bottom I've ever seen on one of these, so pretty cool. Um, it does have some uh, a monogram on it, but that's okay. Uh, it's it's I paid two dollars for it, and that's pretty cool. I'll just put it with some of the other ones. The other thing I got was this, um, and these can be pretty well, pretty good. Uh, it's actually, let's see, Copper Craft Guild. So I have some of these. I'm gonna lot them together, but they do pretty well. Usually I pick them up for like a dollar or two. And, um, you know, they're worth probably about $5 each if you put them in a lot. So something interesting to look for. And they do make other things by this, by this brand. So just keep an eye out for this stuff. It's always, you know, it's really popular. Pretty much anything that's copper, um, it's probably going to be worth some decent money. And uh, the other thing I got, I actually I did get one more of these, which was not pictured or shown in the last video. And uh, this one's pretty cool, too. And this one was $1.50. So... Usually I don't find them uh, for that cheap, so it's a great find for this one. And like I said, I'll probably lot them all together. So this is pretty cool. And uh, now I'm just going to show you some coffee mugs I got. Um, there was a pretty good selection. They had a lot of the Disney ones, and those are the ones that I, uh, I certainly like to find because they're the most profitable. People just really love them, and they go crazy for them. So actually I got a fair amount of these Tinkerbell ones. And honestly, for these Tinkerbell ones, you, you could easily expect $19.99 shipped. Uh, maybe a little bit more. On some of them, you could probably get 30 shipped, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think I got I think I got a lot of them that are going to be like 19.99 shipped, but I think I might be able to get up to 25 for these ones. Um, sorry about the lighting there. Uh, someday I'll have a perfect lighting studio. <laughs> yeah, this one uh, it still has the tag sticker on it, so of course the sticker is 850, but I'm going to get a lot more than that. But that's of course shipped, so. This one uh, basically new, and again we paid a dollar for these because they were actually they priced them two dollars. The Goodwill's been you know creeping up on their prices a little bit on certain things. Uh, and then there's this one of course, and like I said we got a whole bunch of them, so it's just it was really cool. Another thing I picked up which I thought was interesting was these mugs which are uh, they say Sea World on the side here on the handle, so certainly is something interesting. I got four of them. They were a dollar each. Actually, they were 50 cents each, so that's a pretty good deal, I think. I'm probably just going to list one of them as quantity four and uh, just see how they do. I think they should do pretty well. And then we got some really cool, um, maybe vintage, uh, probably 80s. A lot of these I got from, or probably from the 80s. Just kind of silly, you know, interesting. Just a Hallmark mug, you know, just a silly, interesting one. I think this one is a, is a shoebox greetings. So these actually do, shoebox greetings can be pretty good. This one's a little dirty, so i got to clean it up. But usually I just put them all in the sink, and uh, the, the stickers come off really easily uh, if, you just, if they just get a little bit wet. Here's another one. It's, uh, it's an interesting, silly mug. So someone's definitely going to gonna like this one. And, uh, you know, most of these were a dollar. Now, the other thing I was going to mention is uh, some of these mugs, they're by Russ. And Russ... Uh, a lot of them are junk, but some of them are good. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I can determine the age of each of them because it doesn't say. But I'm just I'm just going to assume here that the uh, the older ones are probably the better ones. Um, that's just what I would say. Could be that the uh, newer ones are better, but whatever the age of this one is, it's just you know it's an interesting mug and it should be about a 1999, maybe a little bit better. Uh, here's a 1985 one, and it's got uh, a snake. A flat on a rock, and it says relax. So it's just kind of silly, you know, just interesting. Another thing I got, which I thought was pretty cool, was this huge Bex Oktoberfest mug. 
Uh, this one is a one liter, so it's quite a beast. And uh, I think I paid, I forget, I think this one may have been three dollars, but it's Oktoberfest, so it's you know relatively desirable. If you like Bex, then uh, this is this is a good one, obviously. Um, I might add this to the personal collection of the beer mugs. I'm not entirely sure, but um, someday I'll have to go over that collection with you guys someday. I got this other Tinkerbell one. Uh, still has the sticker on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, hit a dollar for most of these sugar and spice in there. So this one should be a really good one. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of an awkward shape though. I couldn't resist on the Boston Celtics mug. Uh, just kind of interesting. And um, this one is from, unfortunately it doesn't say, but it's officially licensed NBA, so you know it's going to be good. And uh, if you're a Boston Celtics fan, you know, why not, right? Uh, makes a good gift. Here's something interesting. Uh, I don't usually find these together, but it's a mug mates. Uh, it's fun to have a friend. So it's fun to be a friend on that side. Uh, perfect, complete, so should be about $20, 20 for this one. Uh, it's, it's an interesting one. Again, I got another Tinkerbell one. Uh, certainly had a Tinkerbell collector here. Uh, so, I mean, if I just lotted these Tinkerbell mugs together, uh, no joke, I could probably get uh, at least 50 bucks for the lot, probably more. I think I have like, I think I have like five or six of them. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell them all individually. Get some more profit out of them. Uh, this one, another one. Uh, most of these are new with a sticker. So, like I said, I could probably get uh, if I if I do buy it now and I'm patient. If I just lotted them, I could probably get uh, probably get maybe 75 for them if I uh, if I was patient. Just wait for a Tinkerbell collector. I know it sounds kind of weird, but there's people out there who just absolutely love that kind of thing. I picked up these uh, Barnes and Noble mugs. It's not quite like a Starbucks. Um, they're still in business, so it's not like um, if you have a Borders Books one or something, that's probably going to be worth more, but I've done well with Barnes & Noble in the past, so this one was um, a good deal, and uh, actually I got two of these, and they're 50 cents each, so I might lot them together, but I think I'm going to sell them individually uh, for 20 bucks, maybe a little bit more, because they're, uh, they're, they're certainly interesting. And then this one, um, I was looking up this one real quick, because I thought it was interesting. 1986 Chris Davenport Irish Kisses, so just something interesting, and of course the mugs that you always want to look for are the ones that have someone's name on it, like Artist Designed, so this one is interesting, and it's in pretty good shape, it does have a sticker inside it there, but uh, it's, a, it's a great deal for a dollar. I picked up this one, I usually don't mess around with McDonald's stuff just because it's so uh, overproduced, but it said 1983, and uh, I don't know, it's just really kind of weird. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to take a chance on this one. It was only a dollar. So we'll see. It doesn't have any flaws on it anywhere. So who knows? Uh, could be good. Actually, another thing, uh, I was just just got covered up by some lugs, but uh, there was this really, really interesting, um, it's like a pen holder. Uh, just, you know, put it on your desk and you're good to go. Uh, it's all solid brass. And it says, it says made in Spain. And it says I Brown Bros. So you know, nice vintage, um, pretty cool, and uh, I don't know, it's in good shape. We paid three dollars for it, so that was a pretty good deal. I wouldn't be surprised if I could get, um, geez, I, you know, I'm not familiar with the name, but I think I could probably get about thirty bucks, maybe a little bit more out of this one because it's, it's solid brass and uh, it has a little bit of age to it, so it's just an interesting piece. I got this Starbucks mug. I always pick up the Starbucks mugs and we collect them. These are from 2012, so they're not, like, too old. Um, then I got this one as well. I think this one was 2008. That's ah, covered up with a sticker. So it was a great deal. Uh, these were a dollar each, so just add those to the collection of growing Starbucks mugs. We've got quite a hoard at this point, so uh, I'll show you guys that someday because it's, uh, it's a pretty cool little collection. I got these Camel Genuine Taste mugs. Um, someone who likes Camel, they're probably going to like these. They're just interesting, you know, kind of heavy duty. Uh, great for a collector. As you can see, the logos are in great shape. So it's just something interesting I picked up. Next one I got, and I don't think I've ever seen one of these before, uh, but this is a Simpsons mug, and it's uh, 
it's a 3D one, so those usually go for more. It uh, says dope on the other side, and this is official uh, 20th Century Fox. Okay, so it's, yeah, let's see, 2004. So, um, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, well, let's see, I think it was a dollar. So, that was a pretty good deal. Obviously, The Simpsons, it's, you know, going to be a good sell. Another thing I picked up, which was interesting, was a uh, Grateful Dead mug. Pretty cool. Uh, 50 cents. And this one says uh, Zep Inc. 1992. So that's pretty cool. Also got this uh, Looney Tunes one. I thought that one was interesting. And it's from 1993 Warner Brothers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that should be a good one. Got this Starbucks mug as well. Uh, doesn't say a date on it, but uh, I, I didn't think it was a Starbucks mug at first. So it's just an interesting find. Someone's really gonna like it, or maybe we'll just probably gonna just add it to the collection. We'll see. Might have to start selling that someday. I don't know. I got this one. Someone's just gonna love it. Uh, I love Daddy. You know, it's just uh, Daddy loves me. <laughs> so someone's gonna love this one. Uh, it's just a Hallmark mug, 1985. So uh, that's what they're like, you know. 18, 1985. So I mean, you know, this thing is like 28 years old. So uh, you know, they break and uh, people gotta replace them. And I don't know. It's just a, it's just a really nice silly gift, I guess. If nothing else, I got this one because this one was from 1984. Uh, just you know. It's from 1984, so it says, May your day be filled with happiness, and it's got the rainbow on it, so we'll see, you know, maybe maybe not, maybe it's a dud. Um, this one, someone's going to love, it's a Nine West mug. Um, it's probably going to sell pretty well, we'll see. It was only a dollar, so I never sold any uh, Nine West before, but I did sell um, a mug that said pink, and it was like, you know, for the pink clothes. And uh, that was an oversized mug, and I think I got over $30 for that one. So someone who likes Nine West is probably going to want this mug, because most likely there aren't very many of them out there. Another one I got, because um, I just had to, um, was this one. It's from 1999, but it's a 3D mug. So the, all the dog lovers, they're just going to love this one. And um, it's still got the sticker on it. It looks like it's, well, it has some junk in there, but... Um, you know, dollar fifty. I'll take a chance on it. These uh, the 3D mugs. They they really sell well. All right, guys. The last mug I got to show you guys is this one. Uh, Welcome to the Rat Race, and that one is just uh, just kind of silly. You know, really interesting, really weird. And that's a Russ mug. So uh, if I had to date this, I would say it's probably from the mid 80s. And um, oh, it's just interesting. You know, people really like these kind of mugs. Um, you gotta be careful though, just because it's a rust mug doesn't mean it's gonna be worth a lot. Because a lot of them are actually junk too. So, you know, just be careful. You gotta you gotta make sure that you get the, the high quality ones uh, that have an interesting design to them, or else they're just not gonna sell. Um, and of course, um, same goes for like a Starbucks mug. Like just because it's a Starbucks mug, I hear people say it all the time, but like Starbucks mug is not the is not the be all end all. I mean, uh, some of them are just not in high demand. Um, I'd rather have a, a really nice vintage mug where there's literally zero competition. You know, I might have the only one up there uh, for months. Um, some of them can be uh, really interesting. I mean, you know, especially if I've got one like this. I mean, I saw some of these were up there, but there's not like there's not like ten of them up there. There's probably like one or two. So you know, um, that's really the key when it comes to selling these mugs. It's just one of those items where um, you know there aren't very many of them. There aren't very many people selling them, so you can kind of corner the market pretty easily. And if someone really wants that mug, they're going to buy it. And there's a lot of people out there still, believe it or not, who have a lot of money that they're just, you know, they don't really care. And they'll be happy to spend 20 25 maybe even 30 on a nice mug. So just something to think about. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, I'm going to be trying to come out with a – when I get the time, I've just been so incredibly busy, but I'm going to be trying to come out with – a new series sometime. Uh, I'm going to try to do it like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing. So we'll see how that goes. Um, again, like I said, I've just been so busy and uh, trying to make time for all the cool stuff that I, I've planned. So we'll see. But uh, 
All right, guys, that's really all I wanted to share with you today. I just wanted to make a quick little haul video, and I just wanted to keep it all uh, just for mugs because I know, you know, I've got a, a few different types of people who watch my videos, the people who like the antiques, people who watch the vintage, um, people who like the clothing, and um, people who like the Amazon stuff. And, uh, you know, I figure if I make videos that are kind of uh, keep them a little bit separate, as long as they're still in the same theme of uh, reselling stuff and, you know, just buying and selling uh, eBay and Amazon, um, just trying to keep things a little organized. You know, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate your your comments. Uh, let me know what you think, and if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.